Hello, this is Sixty Minutes English, English from BBC on English. I'm Neil, and, and I'm Georgina. That's a big That's smile on your face, Georgina. You seem happy today. I am Neil. After all, what's the point in seeing the glass half empty? Ah, so, oh, so you are someone who tried to see the glass half full. You generally look at things in a positive way. I hope so. It may seem strange to be discussing happiness in the middle of a global pandemic, but right now, feeling happy is more important than ever. Well, then, it's a look at happiness. It's the subject of this program, Georgina. And while many things seem to be out of our control just now, but there are small things we can do to feel better about life, to feel less stressed, and maybe even a little happier. You're talking like a day now, like Zuzina. Denmark, Denmark, and in fact, ordinary countries are often listed as among the, among the happiest places, places in the world. You know what would make me happy? Asking me a really, asking good, a really good quiz question. question. Okay, well, did you okay, well, know that every, know that every year, 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 UN publishes the global, global, global happiest survey, revealing the happiest world. countries in the world. It's based on factors like income, life expectancy, and health. The Nordic countries often come on the top 10. Which country was rated the happiest in 2020? Was it A. Iceland, B. Denmark, or C. Finland? Well, Neil, Denmark is famous for bacon, and nothing makes me happier than a bacon sandwich. So I would say B. Denmark. I like your thinking, Zorzina. We'll find out the answer later. There's something right to see. Denmark is considered one of the happiest countries in the world. While Anna Ryder, author of the best selling The Happy Days of Day, aspects of Danish culture help us improve our chances of happiness.